morning, my name is Henry. I'm with Early Bird Pest Control. A uh, customer called me about a gopher issue they're having in their backyard. Uh, with those uh, types of rodents, uh, there's basically three approaches we take. One is a uh, snap trap that has a jaw that will, uh, the trap can be placed in a burrow and, the, and the gopher crossing the path will trigger it and, and catch it that way. Uh, somewhat effective uh, depending on how fresh burrows are. Basically these things, the fresher the better is a chance of, of doing something about it. Uh, we also have a injector. Uh, it's a probe that will pierce into the burrow and inject a bait into, into the pathway and gophers uh, will find that attractive sometimes. It works pretty well. Uh, there's also a small uh, phosphide charge that can be placed into the burrow and ignited. Uh, there's a wick attached to it and uh, can be put into the burrow and, and uh, light the wick, cover up the hole and the gas will permeate uh, through the burrow and such. These we have to be real careful with but uh, far away from the house is, it presents no problem. Um, also any other openings have to be covered uh, so that the gas has a chance to stay down below on, under the soil and get to the, get to the target pest. Uh, in this case, this burrow is too old to bother with. Uh, these gophers are prodigious diggers. They're always active, it seems. Uh, on the other side of this wall is an open area and uh, burrows abound out there. Uh, it happens to be in a schoolyard and that's a difficult uh, place to try and treat. Uh, it has to be permitted by the school and the school board, and, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, luckily for this customer, these are oleander plants, which are poisonous. Gophers are not attracted to them. It was just digging for curiosity or whatever, something to do. Uh, this customer does happen to have, somebody had foresight. His palm trees over here are uh, equipped with uh, gopher cages. They're planted into a mesh screen so that the gophers can only get so close to the uh, root ball. It's a, that's a, a really good idea, and if you're planting anything new that gophers find attractive, that's a real good idea to include that. They're not very expensive and, they, and they're very effective because they can eat to the roots to the point where it'll actually kill the plant. But anyway, that's uh, about it for gophers. Um, Again, fresher the better. Uh, as soon as they're spotted, that's the time to call somebody and you'll have a much better uh, chance of success in, in eliminating them. Uh, we are active valley-wide. We treat uh, many of the areas of Phoenix and beyond. Uh, Phoenix, South Scottsdale, North Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, and even onto the west, uh, Litchfield, Buckeye, uh, Avondale and again, uh, all, all the greater Phoenix area. So if you have a problem, please visit our website, www.earlybirdpest.net. Thank you. If you live in the Phoenix, Arizona Valley, you know the desert pests are abundant. From scorpions, cockroaches, ants and spiders, to bed bugs, bees, wasps, and hornets. Then there's the pesky rodents, rats, mice, gophers, roof rats, and pack rats. If you're tired of creepy crawly pests invading your home or business property in the Phoenix, Arizona Valley, give me a call at 602-430-7378. With more than 23 years experience as a pest control exterminator in Maricopa County and the Phoenix Valley, including Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, Goodyear, Surprise, Glendale, and Peoria. So if it crawls, give me a call at earlybirdpest.net.